Hello, Taurus. I hope you're doing super fantabulous. Sorry that these videos are extremely late. So I got really sick last Saturday after the live, and I have been in bed um, pretty much since. <laughs> I'm recovering, so I apologize for the coughs, the sniffles, and all that. But we're going to get through these reads today, so thank you for sharing your space with me. The way these reads are going to go, we're going to go general, singles, couples, and then all signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Hit that like, that share, even subscribe, okay? And if you're a returning family member, unsubscribe and then resubscribe because it's been really weird in this YouTube world. Now, with that being said, big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. Now... Remember that these readings are general, okay? If you like a personal and private read, you can hook up with me on Instagram. Better yet, come follow me. Let's do the lives. On Tuesday, we got half price readings, 11 11 22, 22. Questions read live, okay, for happy hour, 5 36 p.m. Central Standard Time. And hit my link tree and book a read. So let's jump into it. Let's talk about what's going on upstairs. On the first, we had that new moon in a Scorpio, nine degrees. And you pulled, let me tell you a little bit about these cards that I'm using. Loteria Remedios by Selena Gonzalez. Okay, an amazing, amazing deck of cards. And um, it uses this game called Loteria, which... I grew up with, okay, we played every time. Every time we went to my grandma's house, we played, it was a big family thing, it was great. However, you pulled El Apache, okay? And when the Apache shows up, this is about really standing with your ancestors, getting that knowledge and being prepared, protecting your peace, protecting your land. And you are ready with this new moon to stand and listen and be heard also. So I feel like your ancestors are really pushing you and saying, we got your back. On the second, Mercury enters into Sagittarius. Communication is going to be very unhinged. Okay, people are just going to say whatever's on their mind. <laughs> and just prepare yourself. On the fourth, Mars, the planet of action, is entering into Leo. Big things popping, baby. We are ready to stand up. We are ready to speak our minds. We are standing in our power. We're go-getters, and we're going to get the job done. On the 11th, happy Veteran Day to all those who have served, are serving, and are going to serve for our country. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. My father is a veteran. It means the world to me. He is... He is amazing. He, um, I'm not going to get emotional. I love him dearly. He's my, he's my favorite. <laughs> he's one of my favorite people. Um, with that, happy Veterans Day to all of y'all. And a very happy, very special birthday to my daughter, who will be turning 16. So she's my Scorpio, and I love her dearly. Now, we also have on that day Venus entering into Capricorn. So yes, they're going to be looking hella good. But don't worry, Taurus. You always got Venus. You rule by Venus. So you always fly, all right? Now, on the 15th, Saturn goes direct with a full moon in Taurus, 24 degrees. Your energy for this, pajarito, pajarito, okay? I feel like you're going to be getting a lot of downloads. And I also feel like with the flag, with La Bandera coming out, this is not... I surrender. This is like maybe you're ready to clean the slate and start fresh and new. Start a new way. But you're receiving divine messages. I really feel with the Apache and with this card coming out for you that your dreams are going to be very important. Your ideas are going to be important. Write them down. Start journaling, Taurus, because there's some great innovative new things coming your way. All right? Now, on the 19th, Pluto enters into Aquarius. <laughs> I call this nasty November. Maybe that's why I got sick and I got really sick, guys. Um, get your popcorn. Get your get your healing sounds. Clear that energy. Light the Palo Santo because, baby, we got to keep them vibrations high because people are going to be acting crazy, okay? And I also feel like this is a lot of revelations going on. You got to stay high vibe. Turn it off sometimes and focus on what's really important to you, okay? Focus on what's important to you, Taurus. Now, on the 21st, call up that Sagittarius and say, baby, it's your birthday season, all right? And on the 25th, Mercury retrograde in the sign of Sagittarius. Y'all know the get-go, all right? It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. We'll see how it goes, all right? 
Now, let's talk about your um, astrological card. You have that of the eighth house. The eighth house is Scorpio energy. This is death. This is transformation. Death doesn't necessarily have to be the physical death. It could be death to an old way of being. This is finances, other people's money. This is inheritance. This is the occult. This is study. This is like a way of everything that you wanted to keep hidden is about to come to the light. So pay attention to those things, especially finances. All right. Also, when it comes to love, you are in your thriving stage. You are the stag, okay? In this, you have to trust the universe and love that you're not surviving. You're not, you're not in the ghetto bin. You're not digging through the, through the market trying to find what you want. You are thriving. You're attracting, okay? We're not out there searching through the muck. We got this, all right? Now... You have here diversity. I do feel like there are a lot of people that are getting messages from their ancestors that you should be um, venturing into a different form of um, business, another form of income, another form of study. Some of y'all might even be meeting people at school or in educational meetings, um, certifications, things of that nature. And you could be diversifying the dating market, okay? The fifth house could be very important for you, ruled by Leo. So maybe this is you about having more fun also. You have that of the journey. I think traveling is going to be highly important for you. The seventh house is that of relationships. And I also think that it's going to be good for you to go and try something you have never tried before because this is a clear flag. <coughs> okay, let's jump into this read. Let's see what we got going on for you guys. Bless these cards for my beautiful Taurians. <laughs> you little sexy Taurus. You, let's see what we got going on. This is a general reading. We have Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. We got fire signs in the house, Aries, Leo, Sag, and we have a move on, which is interesting. Overall, we have vacation. Yeah, I knew a trip was coming. So it's interesting that we have the white flag. Um... Uh, the song from Dido comes to my head. There will be no white flag upon my door. And that's why I, I, I choose love. And I always will love. I don't know. Something like that. But someone is unavailable. It could be a waste of your time. A waste of your energy. And the universe says. Deuces. Go take that trip boo. What does the earth sign energy have for you? It says love is on the way. Answer that phone call, baby. Lots of messages. Someone telling you something great. We could be cutting off a fire sign. Okay, we're going to stop that pattern. Kick, kick out. Okay, and what are we moving on from? We are moving on from a love bomber, a narcissist, someone who is self-absorbed. And we're going to take that trip by ourselves. We're not, we're not going with someone who um, is... A backstabber. Okay, we want a front stabber. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't, don't, don't do nothing mean to me, YouTube. Y'all already got my videos not playing. I'm just saying. Probably because I'm inappropriate. I'm not inappropriate. <laughs> I'm just not for children. <laughs> okay, let's see here. What do we have for you guys? Let's look at the general love. General in love. What do we have? We have here, go for it, go for it again. This is the Fool 2.0. So there's two fools in this deck. One and you, not me and you, baby. So anyways, this is the second one. This one is like you finally went through the whole major arcana, okay? You went through the whole shish caboodle. And now you're like, baby, we gonna try it again, all right? And here you are, you got your little smile, you got the cheesers on, you're going for it, it's a victory. I do see a big trip coming in for you. Seven of Swords, there is some lies, and <laughs> it's a reduction of the fire sign. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm a fire sign. I don't know, just think it's funny, I don't know. Someone's definitely lying to you. Mm -hmm. The chariot said, it was okay, all right? Cause, and they're like, how you, how you know so much? And you're like, I've been working on myself, all right? Eight of Pentacles. And you don't give a damn. You're going to celebrate. You're like, look, I got this. I don't need you. Overall, sip tea. <laughs> Let's talk about it. So here you are. You might have given someone a second chance. And then you found something out. What is the energy with the double seven? Whoo! I got the devil and the king of cups. Someone portrayed themselves as really being something that they're not. You could also be dealing with a cancer, okay? But you caught them. 
You and confirmation for this would be you seeing the number 777 a lot. That's going to let you know that this message is for you that your intuition is definitely on point. You're walking away. You've been working on something. You're walking away with the eight of cups. Baby, your boots look good. Look at you. And you're moving on. So you're definitely moving on from this situation. You got your words down tight. You're like, get the hell out of here, okay? Get to step in. Lots of seven showing up. I don't think this person expected you to see through the, 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 mirage, the mirage, I think that's the word. And you're like, I'm good. July 21st could be very important for you. July 21st could be, I want one more card. Yeah, even the 20th and the 21st of this month, I feel like there's some major decisions, but there was some stuff that happened possibly in July for you that you're just like, not today. Not today. You can't really, this can't be your energy and you perpetrating on this. Get out of here. Like, we, we're, Taurus is not going to play with you like that. No, sir. We are not doing that. Okay. So let's look here at, hold on. I got a weird message. Missing teen in my neighborhood. Okay. All right, let's see what we got here. I hope they're okay. I hope, we're, I hope they're just being silly teenagers, you know? Let's look at our... And I live in a very, like, safe area, which is odd that that would pop up in our neighborhood message. Okay, let's jump into our beautiful singles. So, so far for important dates, I have the 5th, the 7th, the 10th, the 11th, 16th, 20th, and 21st. For my singles, we got a yes! I see me gusta, right? Yes, luck is on your side. You have a guardian angel working it out for you. And again, they want you to what? Move on, my friend. And you too have a spy, okay? I don't know. Capricorn had a spy in each of their reads. The general, the single, and the couple. And if you were the Capricorn, they might be the spy for you. <laughs> they might be spying on you with that devil card. Hmm. I have to drink a lot because <coughs> I've been coughing like crazy. What is the yes for? Yes, you were dealing with someone who was lacking confidence. Maybe they were making you feel like you weren't enough because, baby, they weren't enough, okay? Your guardian says we, they know that you're deeply sad that something did not work out, but you're going to get through this. Move on, cut ties, we're not looking back. Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord spit, split you. And where's the spy at? We've moved on from them. They're just trying to figure out how you look so good and what's going on and what is the deal. But let's check in with this guardian. This is for those who have lost a loved one and want to know if it's them. The first clue I have is there's something about a picture because I'm just looking at this. This, this hasn't came out over that card before. This picture could be of you and them. It has broken or you're putting it in a frame recently. They have very beautiful skin. Okay, very, very beautiful skin. There's also um, a birthmark on their face. I forget the, um, the sign for this. Hold on. Oh, I had this right here the whole time. Um... The stars, <coughs> beautiful skin, birthmark, beautiful eyes, Pisces energy, okay? Then we have Virgo energy, very European looking, older. Um, usually it's tied to a masculine energy, okay? And then we have the key. There's something about the number 333. Three, three. You've been seeing the number 333 three, three, if this is your loved one, okay? Remember, this is a general, so take the parts that fit. This person is a medium build. <laughs> and Taurus energy, okay? Um, this individual is really wanting you to realize that you don't have to um, sit and take that from them. You know, it's going to hurt you. And I do feel like maybe this is a surrender. I surrender. Move on. I want to move on. I don't want this anymore. More clues on the Guardian. <laughs> they love to eat watermelon fruits berries cucumbers um honeydew things like that they their pants maybe there there's something about their pants okay and they possibly smoked and they love shoes okay they absolutely love shoes 
Now, let's move on and see what is going on, and then we're going to also get more messages for you. All right? Bear with me, guys. I'm sorry if um, I have to, like, breathe funny, and I apologize. Mm. But I got messages saying, where's the earth signs? Where's the air signs? I was like, I didn't even think people watched me anymore. <laughs> I used to get a lot of views, but not anymore. So I was like, I just wanted to be able to be healthy. All right, let's see what we got for our singles coming in. We have the king of swords at the bottom of our read. Then we have strength. I think we were really cutting something completely off. We would prefer to be alone for a while. Um, we are letting go of having to put everything out there for everybody and I think some of us are grieving silently there could also be a move for us with the double nine and there is an offer of love coming in <coughs> I'm sorry y'all <coughs> so the king of swords is this energy, I always say that somebody uses um, conversation or communication as a weapon. Um, and this could have been someone who you had a happy home with at one time. But they're being very dramatic or very cutthroat with communication. This could even be you, you know. And there's the chariot again. Very strong cancer coming in here. But this is about an energy of like basically like, look, we used to have a happy home. Communication just didn't go well and I got to go. The strength card in the center of your read wants you to know they want to come back with the two of pentacles. But you've changed. It's almost like you're like... Okay, you know like sometimes in a relationship... Somebody's like, oh, well, you always take me back, right? Like, you've always taken me back. It's no big deal. You're not taking them back. You've moved on. The Knight of Wands. And you want something that is more passionate, more exciting. And it could possibly be moving on with a fire sign. Or you're leaving a fire sign. One of the two. Because I didn't know your life, okay? Nine of Pentacles. You're healing. You're healing yourself with the star. You have worked on yourself. You're thriving. Remember, you have the stag energy. And, yeah, you might have a conversation with this individual. We might talk about it. But um, I'm going to make the best decision for myself with the lovers. You know your worth now. The Empress with the Six of Wands. You know your worth. You know who you are. You know that people are attracted to you. You know you're attractive. You know that you you are more than enough. Because this individual like to make you feel like you are nothing. And now they have to sit back and watch you be happy with someone else. Um, there was major betrayal in that situation. And I'm going to say be careful because this person likes to get you drunk. This person also has two, <coughs> two pages here. I'm so sorry about the coughs. Okay, two pages here. So I do feel like there's some information they're going to share that is going to upset you. Um, whether it is uh, something that you just were like, what the hell? Like you thought that was going to work? Because you're just like, why are you doing this? Nine of Swords, Five of Swords. Why would you come and get me drunk? Or come and ask me out for this? What the hell was that? I, had a, I guess my other phone made a weird noise. Over there. There's a gentleman. The child. And the heart. You have a new love coming in for you. You have something new coming in for you. And this individual, here he is over here. You have something new. And I feel like this person does not want you to move forward, okay? Knight of Cups wants you to know the Three of Wands. There's more success with them. They see you as hot, fiery, and passionate. And you are going to release that Nine of Swords. You're going to release it, and you're going to go with this offer. And all that the other person has left to offer you is their rutabaga. There's nothing else there. Oh my goodness, I don't know who put these alerts on my other phone. Y'all, I'm sorry. Let me turn these alerts off. So I have, my um, my kids make fun of me because I really love Android. 
because I'm old, okay? I love my Android, but my kids want iPhone all the time, and so I keep getting these updates about the missing child. I don't know. I needed to turn them off. Anyways, three of pentacles here. I do think that you're going to find someone else that's going to work it, out, work it out with you. Either it's going to be... Like, I see a lot of fiery energy coming in. I just feel like you're cutting ties with someone from the past, and you're moving forward. What do the cats want you to say to this person? What do the cats want you to do? <laughs> it's like, what do the cats, what do the cats say? Meow, meow, meow. Don't forget to be amazing today, okay? What else? Your potential in success is infinite, and you are the most beautiful when you love yourself. Okay, and I think that's what this lesson is about. So if this person shows up and this person who you used to at one time really care about, you've healed from, you've moved on, you're in a better place, you see your worth, and now they're like, what? Because they've been spying on you and they're like, wait a minute. When we were together, that wasn't how things were. You weren't like that. I want, I want to, I want to, I want you now that you're healed, so I can suck your energy dry. But you're, you're too strong for that. You're a strength card. You're better off alone. Like you're, you're like enough with the heartbreak. Enough with the same sad love song. Like I can only keep blaming you for doing what you're doing for so many, for so long. And you have completely moved on. And your guardian has brought you someone else. Someone might be a little bit younger, too. All right. Give us a description of the person coming in for them. How do they look? What is a good choice for Taurus? <clears throat> the clouds. The clouds are that has been a popular card lately. Gray hair, two-tone hair, blue-green eyes, Pisces energy. The sun, Leo energy, bright, um, stunning smile. I always just think of just warm energy, okay? And Aquarius energy. This person knows how to, they dress good. They smell good. They're very social. Like, they have a lot of friends. I love to take you out. And then Scorpio energy. This person has, um, like, brown or red hair or, like, copper-colored hair. They have a sexy-ass walk, okay? Like a saunter. You know, you know, I like them already. <laughs> Just kidding. And give us more clues with the clouds. We have the nails. Okay, this person's going to compliment your hands a lot. They might like really like your nails. There's a lot of texting. The 25th could be very important for you, okay? Um. <sighs> This person makes you feel very safe, very secure, very strong Scorpio energy, and you will be seeing the number 444. The garden wants you to know the, the crown. Okay, this person is very much about flowers. This individual is either going to like, what's your favorite flowers? You want to go buy a plant together? Like, very much into that kind of stuff. Very social, too. And the fox with, the, this is called the food porn, okay? This person is hyper into good times in the bedroom, okay? And they like to talk a lot. You can meet them online. Okay. <coughs> Let's just get some initials for fun. Remember, everything will be time stamped for you. We have the letters A-I-A-O. <laughs> A -O -O, okay? Lots of vowels going on over here. And let's give you just a real quick guidance. I'm going to be using these cards. And where are my other cards for my singles? Oh, they're right in front of me. Okay, when it comes to our beautiful singles, what is guidance for this month? Work on your solar plexus. Also watch your diet. You want to take care of your stomach area and confidence is key. There is a big love interest coming in for you. Pay attention to them. They're watching you, okay? And not in a creeper way. 
This is not supposed to be here. Not supposed to be here, but I'm going to take it. You are going to be having a lot of dreams, a lot of visitations, a lot of downloads. Your spirit guides are moving very strongly. If you had a loved one recently or that you're very close to that's moved on, during this month and even like previously before this month, you have felt their presence. You are not crazy, okay? They are there with you. And it's time to get up, get out, and do something. Ew. Okay. What does the third chakra want them to know? You're the light. You're the truth. Do not dim your light, okay? Lots of confidence. Man holding the heart, they're going to go for it. They're gonna, they don't care how long it gets to get to you, okay? And your spirit guides say, let go of the fear. Let it go. They're with you. And you will be seeing the number 222. And get out there and start healing. All right? So that's what I have for you, love bugs. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. And let me go into our beautiful couples. What's up with the couples? That's me in the corner. I don't know why that came into my head. That's me in the spotlight. Ah, losing my religion. I don't know. I got nothing. Honeymoon. You might be going to a wedding or you might be in the honeymoon phase. Caution, caution, get more information. And a Mercury retrograde. What else? Work on what we manifest because we only get blessed. Y'all be making up songs for everything. I remember when my daughter was little, my, my 16 year old, and we had to do something for the star test. And I think we did, ooh, push it. But it was like something with star. Ooh, pass it. And pass it good. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know. We used to do all kinds of crazy stuff. Oh my gosh, me and my poor child, we've been through it all. Yes, I worked in a school. <laughs> you know, an elementary for a long time. And so, yeah, I was always making up songs to all kinds of stuff. Those poor kids. Honeymoon wants you to know healthy choices, okay? Move at your pace. Move at your pace. What are we taking caution with? Heartbreak, okay? And Mercury Retrograde says, do not go back to someone who is love bombing you, okay? Because you manifested enjoying your life, going out, having fun. And I kind of feel like if you're in a relationship, you're really in one of those that allows you to have like your own identity. Because, you know, sometimes people like, no, we have to be together all the time. Ugh. Anyways, they let you have time with your friends. You're having fun. You're living in the moment, okay? What is, what is your person's thinking? Ten of cups. <laughs> Jackpot! <laughs> That's what your person's thinking. Oh, so sweet. They're so excited about being with you, Taurus. They're like, let's go on this adventure. Let's start fresh. How do they see you? As the two of swords. Boy, you're cutthroat. <laughs> Taurus, you're a little cutthroat there, my friend. What's going on? All right, how is your person acting? The Eight of Swords. They're a little scared. They're like, wait a minute. What am I going to do? I'm so in love, girl. <laughs> I'm in love, girl. Girl, you know it's true. They know that you love you. Three of Pentacles. There's a lot of work that comes in between you guys, but y'all got it. You like, you're not getting away from me, Taurus. You're not getting, you cannot go. Then I got you, girl. All right? And the nine of wands. Y'all done been around the world, nah, yeah, yeah, okay? I can't find my baby. Okay, so this is the energy I'm getting already, okay? So your person is in love, baby. Millie Vanilli kind of love. I'm so in love, girl. Girl, you know it's true. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love Taurus. They think you're the best thing. You're like the bee's knees, okay? I don't even know what bee's knees mean, but I'm going to tell you what. Bees with me, I could be outside. Ain't no bees around. As soon as I get outside, bees all over me. I don't understand. I have to leave the pool like twice. Is it where are these bees trying to eat me? So we have the Knave of Wands with the Ten of Cups. I feel this person is very passionate about starting a family, being with you. They're like, let's do it. I'm ready. Let's make it happen. I'm in love, girl. <laughs> the fool with the ace of cups. I'm telling you, I'm so in love. 
Girl, you know it's I, I I feel like I'm about to do the remake. Girl, you girl, you girl, you girl. No, when they got caught. No, oh, ah, we caught up in love. Love you, baby. I want to build a family with you. Woo! Let's stop the reading, Taurus. I'm sweating. All right, I'm probably sweating my fever out. Two of Swords. <coughs> the wheel. They're like, look, you make your choice, and I'm I'm on that bus. Because the wheels of the bus go round and round, and I'm ready to take you, baby. They, they love all of you. Okay? All of you. They're like, tie me up. Wrap me up. I'm sold. I'm yours. Okay? I'm going to let go all my past. I don't need it. Okay? Because, look, here's the past right here. Here's the past. And this is y'all living in the moment. And the past, he like, I don't even want it no more. I don't want it. I don't need it and I don't want it. So what comes between them with the three of pentacles? The knight of swords. Watch your words this month. Because baby, this person says, tie me up. I'm telling you, there's something about tying up in this week, this month. It's going to be good. Okay. Taurus, someone wants to be tied up with you. Strength card with the ten of pentacles. You are my world. <laughs> you are everything. You are everything. And the Nine of Wands said, let's do it. Ten of Cups. Like, y'all been through hell and fire. Baby, let's get married. Let's go half on a baby. Let's do it. Taurus, I'm in love. That's, this is, that's your title. I'm in love, girl. I'm in love. I feel like, girl, boy, girl, you know it's true. I've been listening to a lot of Millie Vanilli. Sorry. You're in love, and I love it. They love you. You're amazing. I am going to tell you this. I do think, Taurus, you may have experienced a lot of relationships of love bombing and heartbreak. And so when you find yourself in a healthy relationship, what happens is we have a tendency to kind of carry some toxic behaviors with us. And it might be very important for you to, um, like, pay attention to your behaviors and check in with yourself a lot this month, okay? So, things that you may not see coming. We have good news. Something good's coming in. Your luck is changing. Ah, okay. Love. Your luck is changing in love. Okay, okay. Let me calm down. It's good. It's new. It's happy. And there could be a baby coming. If you can't have babies, it's a new love. And we're going public with it. We're letting everyone know. I'm in love, girl. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. I'm afraid to like pull more cards, but I'm going to give you some Oracle cards because I just like to share these cards with y'all. Anyways, I'm going to say Taurus, you are no longer in survival mode. You are thriving. Congratulations. I'm so in love, girl. What? Angel of love. We're healing. <clears throat> and you feel appreciated. You are appreciated. All right, Tupac, sit down now. And we're healing. This is a month of healing, but I don't feel like it's like we're getting over like anger. I feel like we're just healing. We're just like, we feel great. Like, like our energy is good. We're feeling good. I need to brush my hair. Sorry, it's hot in here. I need to throw the air down. You have changed. You're rising above. Okay. Oh, I'm using the wrong cards. Let me go back to these cards. Going to the vessel. We've changed. We're rising above and it's getting better. Every day is getting better. Okay. We're getting rid of self-doubt. We're trusting ourselves. And we appreciate that we've made a great choice. We're making healthy choices. And we're forgiving. And I, Taurus, I see nothing but happiness coming in this month. I feel like you're looking at yourself in the mirror. You're trusting your decisions. You're rising above the bullshit. You're taking yourself and you're saying, you know what? I deserve to be happy. I'm going to be happy. And I'm making the right choices in my life to do that. Congratulations. You're not getting caught up in the bull boo boo anymore. Your ancestors, your spirit guides, they've stepped in. And then they're, they're like, not today. Not my Taurus. Not my boo bear. No, ma'am. No, sir. I'm happy for you. It's beautiful. I'm so in love, girl. I can't get it out of my head, no. Cutting the deck. This is Aries to Pisces. Important dates the 5th, the 7th, the 10th, 11th, 16th, 20, 21, wow, 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 25. So we are hopeful and healing. Hopeful and healing. Because we're in love. I'm 
also in love. Girl, you know it. I wasn't being my head. All night long. Y'all remember that song? All night long. This came out, a spirit guide. I'm gonna pull it to the side. I think uh, you've really had a lot of dreams lately and a lot of visitation. Mm. All right, here we go. You are stuck in your old ways, you damn dirty Taurus. <laughs> Aries is um, shenanigan, okay? Aries doesn't know what to do. You don't know what to do, and y'all are lying to each other, okay? You're ready to go. You're ready to go. You see, I've seen what I needed to see, and Aries has no love in this situation. Lucky day is the seventh. All right, you are sticking by your word. You are a lady of your word, a man of your word. You are cutthroat. You ain't got no time for that. You are about it, okay? And Taurus, the other Taurus said, I can't get you out of my mind. <laughs> Nine of Wands. You're like, something's got to change. And they're like, I won't neglect my feelings because oh, I'm in love. The second was important. All right, you kind of have not been communicating your wants, needs, and desires, and Gemini is like, how can we work on this? You are like, can we go back to the good old days? And they said, whatever you choose, I'm meeting you halfway. Can you meet me halfway? Right in the, I don't know the rest. The 10th is important. <laughs> Today is the 10th. It's an important day. I'm just kidding. Okay, I think my Red Bull's kicking in. Okay, two of wands. That's you, baby. Making decisions. And cancer is not working. They could be having issues in the bedroom, okay? And not talking. You're like, I thought we were going to be all about it, okay? And they're like, I got a magic stick. I don't know what's going on with cancer. They're a hot mess. The third could be important. I'm not even going to touch that with a 10-foot pole. Because they don't want to talk about it, but they just want to show you. And I feel like they're rushing you in the sexy time. Okay? Here you are. You don't feel complete. You don't feel happy. And that's the Ten of Cups reversed. And Leo said, baby, I got the courage to meet you where you need me to. And you said, I don't care. I said it was my way or the highway. And Leo said, can we do it one last time? One more time. Just one more time. Leo is addicted though, okay? The 13th is important. You are in conflict and Virgo is a liar. <laughs> Lies. Or they got caught, okay? The tower happened. Just <laughs> a tower, okay? But there's still a lot of love. I think Virgo's going to try to be like, hey, can we, can we work it out? The 13th is important. You are all out of love and not lost without them. And Libra said, look, I'm going to stand on business. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait for it. I'm going to wait for it. You said too many red flags. And they said, but you are my world. You are my light. You are everything that I desire. <laughs> the 14th could be important. You said, I ain't changing. I ain't moving. I ain't doing nothing. And Scorpio said, but I'm the queen of wands. You said, you hurt me enough. And they said, let's move in together. Lucky day, the sixth. I also feel like they're very boring for you and you need more action. You are looking at success, you're moving forward, you made your decisions, and Scorpio Sag is kind of not giving you the love and attention you want, need, and desire. You're trying to heal from a situation and they are focused on maybe uh, their business, their children, something of like that. Like they're just not really giving you the attention that you want. The third was important. You are ready to initiate something new. Capricorn said, shot through the heart and it's okay, baby. You like the bedroom stuff. And they said, ooh, na, na, na. This is a situation of words and actions not matching up on the um, Capricorn side. And this is you saying, stand on your words, Betty. You said you were going to do this, that, and the third, and you ain't even done this or that and not even the third, okay? You're about to cut them off. The 11th is important. Here you are making lots of promo, promo, promo. I'm tired of your promises, promises. That's you. You're tired of it. Step up, Aquarius. And they said, baby, let me light your fire. 
let me be your king. And you said, let the good times roll, baby. Let's go on that trip, okay? And they said, your wish is my command, baby. Aquarius is going to do whatever they can do to keep you happy, baby. The 12th is going down, all right? Here you are. You are not making a decision. You don't want to play no more. You're quitting. And Pisces said, I'm tired of this, too. I done seen what I needed to see with the moon reversed. Uh-oh. Someone could find out of an unexpected pregnancy, but Pisces is going to pull it out and pay for it, okay? Lucky day, the second. All right, love bugs. I hope you've had a great time with me. I've enjoyed hanging out with you, Taurus. Be sure to like this. Be sure to comment. Hang out with me on Instagram, guys. And I promise I'm going to do better. I'm not going to get sick next month, hopefully. And maybe we need to do some um, year predictions or something like that. All right, take care. Be blessed.